from winning so many titles to winning the hearts of fans from all over the world, there isn't anything that the amazing Conor McGregor can't do. Now he's been given a coaching offer at the Ultimate Fighter, and Dana White has a lot to say about it. I'm not trying to break any world records. I'm 51 years old. I'm trying not to get fat. Since it started in 2005, UFC's reality show The Ultimate Fighter has been a huge hit. A lot of big names from the league have been on the show. Recently, a rumor came out that excited the entire sporting world. The legendary fighter McGregor has confirmed he'll return to TUF, but this time as a coach once again. Dana White is the most excited out of all of us. He thinks that the show needs a fresh start. He's the most famous person in the league, and if he came back to the show, a lot more people would watch it. He's super excited about it too, and told his legions of fans through the socials that he's making a comeback. Notorious thanked his fans and White for the chance. He wants to add some new things to the show. And the UFC head honcho has some ideas on how to get it done. The legend has been thinking back on his time on the show. He had an amazing run the first time around and can't wait to come back. He believes that to be successful, you've got to be passionate about the fight. And he is. That's why every fighter worth his salt is making a beeline for Notorious. But as always, he's ready to take all of them on. If the Notorious goes back on coaching boxers, he'll help build an entire generation of unstoppable fighters. We won't have to wait for much longer. Fans know why he had to take a breather. He had a pretty serious leg injury, and he's been very active in the online community, and has even shared photos of his amazing physical change. In fact, he's been hinting at another career opportunity, too. The amazing fighter is thinking about fighting in the welterweight division. With all these opportunities around him, Conor McGregor is very excited about it. Notorious fans were kept in the dark about all the developments in his career. That was until he posted a picture on his socials. This was proof that he was part of the TUF once again. So of course, this picture is worth a lot. Fans never grow tired of getting to see the great fighter do what he loves. The picture that he posted was taken just before the show started. And what an amazing show it turned out to be. The first time he was offered the coaching position was back when he won his first championship title. He had to walk into the famous Las Vegas fight gym with a black eye, a cut, his tricolor, and his first and only UFC gold belt. Doesn't sound too bad, does it? The show has some of the craziest fans ever, and they lost their minds when McGregor led his first team to victory. His longtime coach, John Cavanaugh, is pretty excited about this. He's confirmed that talks were going on for the former two-division UFC champion to return in 2023. This almost guarantees that McGregor will be back in the UFC any time now. <laughs> You know what that means? Pussy. <laughs> While the entire world is excited about his return, White hasn't chosen an opponent for him yet. The athlete himself has called on Michael Chandler, a former Bellator champion and former contender for the UFC lightweight title, in multiple highlight reel-worthy promos. But Notorious ruled him out as a likely contender. He's also thought about a trilogy with Nate Diaz, who's now a free agent. Unfortunately, the athlete's life outside of the ring hasn't been as good. He was just named as a suspect in the alleged assault of a woman in Ibiza, but he's denied the reports. Whether it's fighting or his private life, this guy just can't seem to keep himself out of the news. But this time, the publicity he's getting is pretty negative. After this accusation, fans seem to have taken a step back from him till things are solved. In his defense, he strongly denies this ever happened. Let me give you the scoop. Insider reports have confirmed that the athlete was involved in an incident in which he allegedly punched a woman many times and threatened to drown her at a party celebrating his birthday. Allegedly, the woman jumped off the boat. The Guardia Civil initially didn't believe the player was involved, but it turned out that the victim was his former neighbor. So they have a history. But she doesn't seem very credible. At first, she told the police that the athlete had attacked her, but then she changed her story. Until finally, she made the authorities start the investigation all over again. MMA Mania claims the two had been talking in a friendly way before the fight. He's accused of saying he would drown her, kicking her in the stomach, and hitting her on the chin. Karen Kessler, who works for McGregor, has denied the accusations made against him. Very good at utilizing all of his reach, turning that shoulder, fighting long. Unfortunately, this isn't the first time he was accused of being violent. This is just the latest disturbing off-camera situation. In 2018, he hurt some UFC fighters when he threw a dolly through a bus window while taking athletes to the Barclay Arena in New Jersey's loading area. But they reached a settlement, and the matter was swept under the rug. He's been accused of sexual assault in both Corsica and Dublin, as well as an attack on an Italian DJ in 2021, though he was never arrested or charged in the Corsica case. Plus, he's still accused of a multi-million dollar personal injury lawsuit that was filed over the incident in 2021. Despite all of that, things seem to be going well for him. He's accepted to offer the coach. Isn't that the best thing you've heard this year? The legendary Notorious will be coaching in the next season. These custom-made suits aren't cheap. You know what I mean? This, 
this song. The Irishman hasn't played since he broke his leg in 2021, and he's getting ready to play again later this year. He's shown his fans how excited he is. I've been able to get some information for you, though. Tony Ferguson and his team will go up against his team, and McGregor is already on board. His possible participation was first hinted at last week. In the popular show in 2015, McGregor coached against Uriah Faber. He made one hell of an impression during his first time, so it's a no-brainer that things will be super amazing for him this time around. The show is already super famous in the community, and with the addition of McGregor, its ratings must be going through the roof. All that's left to do is wait. The entire sporting community is literally on the edge of their seats with excitement. McGregor has never let his fans down before, and I'm pretty sure he won't this time either. That is, unless the allegations against him are proven right and he gets into legal trouble. Depending on the extent of his involvement, it's pretty likely that he might have to spend some time in the slammer, or he wouldn't be able to work. I can't say anything for sure. While past allegations have been proven right, there are a lot of weird circumstances around this one. But until we know more, it seems like smooth sailing for the player. Well, that's all we have on how Dana White feels about Conor McGregor's The Ultimate Fighter coaching offer. We'll see you in the next one. The kind of power that guy can generate is scary for any featherweight in this division. And here's the end of the fight. Squires back. Looks for another takedown. Not this Connor time. Connor stopped it. With 20... Dave Hill has never been submitted. It's a He's lot of pressure. never been stopped. There it is. Conor McGregor. Right here, the hardest hitting 145 pound. The real hardest hitting 145 er right here. Uh, you are the same weight as Mayweather. You are the. Oh, he's done. He's wow. done. It's it is all over. History has been made. <laughs> a little rat, a little weasel, a little hard man in groups. I've met many of them through my years. Obviously, stopped in a horrible way. Give us your thoughts on how it was going. The first round, and I knocked him out in the first round. You can call me Mystic Mac because I predict these things. And that deserves to go to the biggest champion in the world. The uh, champ, pers- champ. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, what's the line? What's the line before that? Connor, what the hell's a dumb shake? All right. <laughs> Don't be ruining the moment. Don't you be ruining the moment. <laughs> Do me a favor, I want you to wear my lucky scarf. Right. Potatoes available. Once the f***ing potatoes mature, they go through a rigorous selection process. Never give up on your dream. Be your own inspiration. If your dream doesn't scare you, then it's not big enough. my fastest UFC knockout. 15, 16 seconds. That's mine.